All right, YouTube. Um, gonna make it short today, but I uh, I'm happen to see a to a topic go across the internet and on our local TV station recently, and I want to get my opinion out there of it. And it's about energy drinks, and there's this big hype that some kids have died from it, um, and they're trying to get get them all pulled off the market. All, all that crap. All that crap. I'm going to throw my two cents in there a little bit and some people ain't going to like it and that's just too damn bad because I'm just one of them people that speak my mind. You know, I'm not saying you're going to like my opinion, but this is just the way I feel. Bottom line is this, if you're in the high school, in my opinion, you're an adult. Whether you're under 18 or not, in my opinion, you're an adult. That's just the way I feel. It means you're old enough to know what is bad for you and what is good for you. I mean, every kid in 15, 16, 17, those energy drinks ain't good for them, but they like it. And now guess what? One of them gets hurt, guess what? Now it's the company's fault. No, it's not. In my opinion, no, it's not at all. Now, in this one particular case, with this one did happen, I blame the parents more than anything. Really, I honestly do. They're saying that a six-year-old girl died from drinking energy drinks. Well, my opinion, what responsible parent gives their kid energy drinks in the first place? Or maybe I even gave it to them, but who doesn't monitor that? How, how can a six-year-old girl get an energy drink unless somebody bought it and it was sitting in the fridge? But bottom line is monitor that. You know it's bad for you. Hide it, hide it from your kids so they can't get it if they're too young to know. But most of the time, in my opinion, this is what it is. It's just to get money. That's all it is. It's... Look, I, I, I'm not a big fan of energy drinks personally, so I don't want you to think I'm an energy drink fanatic because I'm not. I drink a can of Mountain Dew over an energy drink any day. But at one point when I was in high school, which was many years ago now, but when I was in high school, I used to drink energy drinks all the time, particularly Monster and Rockstar. Those were the top two and still are. I still drink them once in a while, but they don't taste near as good to me as they did when I was a kid. It's kind of like a lot of things. McDonald's don't taste as good to me, without, although their fries are amazing. That can never be beat, but their hamburgers, I mean, I'd take Burger King hamburger any day. But, bottom line is this. I don't believe it's right to blame the companies right away. And for you uh, energy drink companies like Red Bull, or maybe you're all one company, I'm just naming the energy drinks I know, Rockstar, Monster, um, Full Throttle, I mean, just, just to name a random few, there's a lot of them, obviously, but just to name a few. Here's how you avoid this whole situation if you haven't done it already. Slap a warning sign on all your cans. Just slap a warning sign saying, these energy drinks <clears throat> could cause health problems. We don't recommend more than one big can a day. B bingo, you've been warned. In other words, it's not our problem. That's all they have to do. I mean, all honesty, that, that's really all they have to do. I mean, some energy drinks I know don't have warnings on there. Monster does. I've seen it on their cans, Rockstar. I, I mean, I never paid attention to it because I know... I know the ship's bad for me, that's why I don't drink it, it's common sense. You wouldn't go outside and, and take your battery out of your car and drink battery acid, would you? No, because you know, but they don't have to put a warning on there for that, do they? Although they do, because there probably is some stupid people that actually would try that. But, bottom line is this. The co people, for the, you, you people crying out there saying energy drinks need to be taken off the market, no, I think you need to do a better job of teaching your kids not to drink that stuff. And if your kids are old enough, like my age, or 17, 18, whatever it is, to go out there and buy them anyway, guess what? You can turn around and say, well, he's old enough to know what's bad for him. He drinks it at his own risk. That's basically what the energy drink companies are saying. They're saying, hey, it's your own risk. We've done our job. We put warnings out there. Now it's your problem. You know? I don't believe, like I said, I think most of this goes to that people want to get money. I really don't even think it's about the kids. I think they just want to get money. Have a reason to sue people. It's real simple. We're in tough times right now. Everybody knows that. Everybody's trying to get money. Any place they can try to get money, that's what they're going to do. So, bottom line, just don't fall. If you, you like energy drinks, I wouldn't even worry about it. But because I, I don't see them getting taken out the market because it's stupid. I mean, it's absolutely retarded. It's over the dumbest reason ever. I mean, I mean, if like I said, if you're old enough to know what's harmful to your body, like cigarettes, you don't see tobacco companies getting sued, to you, or at least to my knowledge, 
you don't see them getting sued because no, they put it right on their box. Look, this could cause mouth cancer, this could cause lung cancer. In other words, we're not responsible if you get any of these. That's just my opinion. I think the whole thing's stupid. Like I said, just a thing to make a buck. I think that's all it is. So people, that's my two cents on it. Basically, I don't believe it's the company's fault. It's just people that want to get money. I think that's all it is. So stay tuned for more videos, and if you want me to do a random vlog on something else, I'll do that too. I'm really hungry. I gotta go get a Burger King or something. <laughs> See you guys later.